Hello children welcome to my channel Kids Ocean and Ocean of Knowledge today in standard 4th of EVS 1 let us learn a new chapter the name of the lesson is food and nutrition if you like this video please like share and subscribe my channel food and nutrition children do you know why do we need food we need food to get energy and proper growth of our body children do you know what will happen if we do not eat food if we do not eat enough proper food we will become weak and unhealthy then we are not able to do any work do you know children what is the meaning of diet the food that we eat or drink throughout the day is together called a diet finally do you know what is a balanced diet a balanced diet is a diet that contains different kinds of food items like chapati rice dal vegetables salad curds papad pickles etc a diet which contains different types of food possessing the nutrients that is the carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins minerals and water in a proper proportion to meet the requirement of the body now let us know about our staple food chapati bhakri or rice form a part of every meal we have we eat more of these foods than of the others therefore we jawar rice are said to be our staple food now we will see that there is a wide variety in our food stuffs we use different food stuffs for different purposes now look at these food stuffs we get milk chicken eggs etc from animals we get oil from sunflower ground nut sesame etc we use lemon raw mango tamarind etc to add sour taste to our food we use cloves black pepper etc spices in our food to make the food sweet we add jaggery sugar etc We use cucumber, radish, carrots, beetroot, etc. for making salads. We get flour from bajra, wheat, jowar, rice, etc. to make chapatis or bakris. We must eat fruits such as apples, chikus, bananas, etc. to keep ourselves healthy. Remember children, there are differences in people's likes and dislikes. We tend to eat the items we like again and again. We also tend to always avoid what we don't like. However, the most important thing is to ensure that the food related needs of our body are all being met. Now let us learn how does the constituents of food help us? Food constituents give our body the energy it needs. we work or play all day long also work like respiration and digestion of food goes on continuously inside our body the body needs energy for all this work food constituents help our body to grow they also help to repair the wear and tear of our body that takes place in everyday work they also help to nourish our body They help to create a store of substances that give energy to our body. Food constituents are necessary for certain special reasons. For example, some constituents make our bones strong. Some constituents give the body the ability to fight diseases. And for all the functions of our body to go on smoothly, we need to drink plenty of water. Remember some important tips for preserving the nourishment in food ingredients. 
while preparing food items some of the constituents in the food stuffs can be destroyed we can take the following precautions to avoid that when cooking food add only as much of water as it is necessary use a pressure cooker or cover the food with a lid while cooking it sprout pulses before using them use them while the sprouts are still small don't wait for them to grow long use whole grain flour without sifting eat fruits like chikus figs grapes apples along with their skin besides vegetables like carrots radish cucumbers beetroot should be eaten raw in the form of salads whenever possible mix two or three food stuffs in a dish for example add onions and potatoes to usal add drumsticks to curries add some soaked dals while cooking vegetables students do you know that our tongue helps us to taste different things there are pigs on the tongue they are called taste buds these taste buds tell us the different taste like sugar and jaggery are sweet salty biscuits and chips are salty to taste tamarind and lemon are sour methi seeds or fenugreek and karela are bitter to taste finally from this lesson you have learnt about our diet includes many different food items there is great variety in the food stuffs we use to prepare different dishes the food constituents that meet our food related needs are present in these food stuffs in different proportions our food related needs are met if our body gets all these food constituents in the right quantities our taste buds help us to know the different taste thank you